Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am the Firescape Griller and today I'm kind of excited because I picked up this accessory right here. This is the Weber Q Griddle model 6558. So I'm going to open up this box and give it a test run and I'll let you know my initial thoughts and hopefully that'll help you decide whether or not you want to pick one up for yourself. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get this griddle out of the box. And as expected, we've got ourselves a griddle and a little booklet. Looks like some directions here, all in different languages. <clears throat> and here's our griddle. And I expected it to be a little smoother, but actually the surface is kind of coarse. So that's a little bit of a surprise. So I'm going to go weigh this, and then I'm going to wash it with warm, soapy water. And I'll be right back. So here now I've weighed it, and it came in just under 5 pounds, or about 2 and a quarter kilograms. And I've washed it, so now let's take a look at the dimensions. It's about 8.5 inches this direction and looks like about 12 and a half inches in this direction. You'll also notice there are two little drain holes on either side and the lip is not very tall so those drain holes will probably come in handy. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some olive oil on this and season this griddle. It is cast iron. They call it porcelain enameled cast iron. Seasoning your cast iron pans like this is recommended. Just use some oil. I don't think it matters what type of oil you use. Any kind of vegetable oil. And just rub it around. Get it on all sides. And then we're going to pop it into an oven. 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. Here we are now, one hour later, and using a grill glove or an oven mitt, take out the griddle. It is piping hot, so we're going to let it cool for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Then what you want to do is open up your Weber Q and remove the right-hand side grill grates. If you're using the electric Weber Q, I believe it's the left-hand side grill grates. But for the gas Q, it's the right-hand side grill grate and you replace it with the griddle. And turn on your gas. Pop the ignition. Close the lid and heat up this griddle. A few minutes later, we're preheated. And I'm gonna lower the heat. And you can see that the griddle is nice and hot. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil just brush that around with a basting brush. And what better way to christen a new griddle than with bacon? And here I'm fitting three strips of bacon on. I'm sure if I cut these in half, I could lay them horizontally and get more on there. But for now, my first time, three strips of bacon, sizzling nicely already. And like I said, this is on a low heat. There's an old saying, bacon likes a low heat. Close the lid, and give these a few minutes. Let's flip these over. Looking good. Close the lid again. And a couple more minutes have gone by. I'm going to flip these one last time, make sure they're not burning. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. So, you know, I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and pull these right in right now and put them on some paper towels and let them drain.
Now as far as cleanup, after I let the griddle cool down and I drained off the bacon grease, you don't want bacon grease in your pipes, and I wash it with warm soapy water, and what I like to do with all my cast iron cookware is pat it dry with a paper towel. So that's my first run with the Weber Q griddle, and right off the bat, I gotta say two big thumbs up. The bacon didn't stick, it was easy to clean up, and what I really like about it is that not only does it work as a griddle, like a stovetop griddle, you'll get the heat from the bottom. But with the Weber Q, you get the heat from the bottom and then you close the lid, you get the heat from the top and so it works as an oven and a griddle at the same time. So that bacon really cooked very quickly. So those are my initial thoughts. And over the next few weeks, I'll be making a bunch of different videos, making a bunch of different recipes. And so initial thoughts, two big thumbs up, but stay tuned for more. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and of course, keep on grilling. Mmm. I love bacon.